Hi, my name is Dali from Dr. Brock's group. Recently, we published a paper in JAX about using copper magnets phosphide to do water oxidation catalysis. Due to high energy demand and environmental problems from CO2 emission, we need to construct a new energy system in order to solve these issues. Water splitting is an appealing pathway to get new energy hydrogen. However, the rate of the entire water splitting reaction is determined by water oxidation half reaction. That's why we need to find more efficient water oxidation catalysts. So inspired by the oxygen evolving center tetramagnes cluster in Photosystem 2, we thought manganese phosphide should be a natural and efficient catalyst. So we made manganese phosphide on the rod and run the catalysis. What we found is it's too active and do not turn over. So we decided to introduce a second metal cobalt into the system in order to moderate the activity of manganese. Indeed, the cobalt can stabilize manganese at a lower valence state and we are able to get monodispersed cobalt manganese phosphide nanoparticles with an average size of 4 nanometer. This tunnel phase shows a better performance compared to cobalt phosphide and cobalt manganese oxide. So there are, there are two reasons. First is due to the synergistic effect between two metals, and second, we have phosphide. This phosphide can in situ generate phosphate, and phosphate can act as a proton acceptor that facilitates the reaction. More importantly, uh, this ternary phase has a comparable activity to commercially used radium oxide catalyst. We also observed a slight decrease in activity after long time reaction. So we, we did XPS and ICP analysis and what we found is this loss in activity is due to the phosphorus leaching into solution and uh, surface oxidation on nanoparticles. Overall, we can suggest that this manganese-based ternary phosphide is a new and promising system to explore for water oxidation catalysis.